one of the most perfect competitive venues in wakeboarding once again plays host to the world's most prestigious tour. The Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour arrives in Fort Worth, Texas for a weekend of amazing competition, jaw-dropping stunts, and never-before-seen tricks. Ah! Who will throw down in the finals and grab the tour lead? This is stop number two of the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour on Lake Mosier in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you so much for joining us for this second stop of the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour. We're here in Fort Worth, Texas, and to help me get this action-packed weekend underway is Mastercraft team rider Andrew Atkinson. Now, Andrew, Lake Mosier, I know this is a very special site for you. Tell us why. You know, this is it's pretty much perfect conditions. This lake is right in the backyard of Texas Mastercraft. It's a private lake. The weather doesn't factor in at all. It's all on us. So it's going to be some of the best riding of the year. You know, also. It's so early in the season, everyone's fresh. No one's, no one's injured right now. Um, it's early enough in the year to where it's anybody's game. Everybody's getting after it. And this is really the tournament that sets the pace for the rest of the year. And I mean, everybody's been riding great. We've obviously seen a couple of good finals go down already for 2012. Who are you looking to this weekend? Who's going to be killing it? You know, this is the only tournament ever where I've seen the judges yelling at each, each other to figure out who won. I mean, whoever wins this is really set up well to have that top spot going into the rest of the season. So, I mean, you can expect Phil and Harley top of the pack, Rusty, Hopefully I'm in that mix as well. Some of the young guns, Daniel Powers, Steel Lafferty, these guys are coming up and it's really anyone's game. And talking of the young guns, of course, we've also got the junior pro men who are absolutely killing it, only 14 to 18 years old. So let's head down to the water and check out what they've been up to. Fort Worth, Texas at the second stop of the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour. It's about 100 degrees out now and uh, there's thousands of people here just uh, watching some good wakeboarding and the wake's good and it's just a lot of fun out here. The wakeboarding world is currently being rocked by young riders who are performing pro-level tricks under pressure. A few years ago, you really wouldn't see too many nines and Moog fives and all that stuff off the wake. Maybe a few of the double up. Uh, the sport's really been evolving a lot with uh, huge wakes and all of the new gear and all that stuff. And everyone's just been pushing each other a ton lately, so it's great. Keenan Allen, Noah Flegel, and Jacob Valdez are a few new faces who have made the Junior Pro Men's Final here in Texas. Pretty good. I kept falling on Kermo, but I got it at the end. Jake just killed it out there. He did toe nine, switch toe nine, and pro five. He rode so good. Probably one of the best passes I've ever had in the contest. I'm not gonna lie. It felt great. Like everyone's stoked to see Wake and like right in front of them. It was an amazing feeling. Orlando's Freddie Wayne is no stranger to the podium and lays down a high-scoring run worthy of third place. Had a pretty good run out there, fell in a whirly five, but I got up and landed everything else that I wanted to, so I'm pretty excited. Young Italian rider Mossy Pifferetti, competing in his first junior pro men's final in the States, has a blast riding for the crowd and scoring a very high 85.5 out of 100. Super excited to make it to finals because his a new feeling for me. The winter is perfect, the wake is huge, and so sick. Michigan's Mike Dowdy has been unbeatable this season. And here in the final, Mike shows the crowd a bunch of bangers, like this Chrome Oak 540, the toe side 900, and the backside 720. I was happy with all of it. I mean, I went out, stood on my run. It was all fun, so fun. Mike's well-rounded run gives him his second win on the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour, followed by Italy's Massi Pivaretti and Orlando's Freddie Wayne. Mike Dowdy continues to lead in the Overton's Junior Pro Men Series, followed by Freddie Wayne, Massi Pivaretti, Tony Iacconi, and Jacob Valdez. 
don't go away because we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. And when we return, it's time for the Pro Women's Finals. Megan Ethel is only 15 years old and leading the way here in the Queen Awake, but hot on her heels, Mastercraft's Nicola Butler. So don't miss any of the action. We'll be right back. The 2012 Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour is brought to you by Mastercraft Boats, held to a higher standard. Rockstar Energy Drink, party like a rock star. And by Overtons.com, King of Wake's official water sports supplier. to the 2012 Mastercraft Pro Tour. We're here in Fort Worth, Texas. Tour veteran Rusty Melanowski, AKA the Bone Crusher, has been having a better season than ever this year. And rumor has it, he's been working on a brand new Hyperlite setup. So let's check in with Rusty as he gives us a sneak peek on the 2013 Hyperlite Merrick. What's up you guys, Rusty Melanoski here at the second Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm gonna take you guys through my 2013 Hyperlite Pro model, the Merrick. The Merrick's been an absolutely killer shape for me, but it was definitely time to update the board. Went back and forth with Aaron at Hyperlite, and we absolutely nailed it. You know, the new shape has a ton of pop, lands with speed, super aggressive, to me, no better riding board. The 2013 Merrick comes in three different sizes, the 135, the 140, and also the 145. You know, from beginners to intermediate riders, the BioCore is the answer for sure. The more experienced riders, go with the NovaCore. In 2013, the Merrick, lighter, stronger, better than ever. Sick graphics. So excited for you guys to get on this thing. Give it a try. Megan Ethel before the Pro Women's Final gets underway. Now, Megan, 15 years old, your first year on tour, you've already taken a win at weight games. What is this like for you, starting off your pro career with, you know, such a strong start? Well, it's pretty exciting. I'm riding with some of the top pro women. We're all riding our best, and it's just so exciting because we're here in Texas, and the conditions are nice, and I'm just riding so well this year. I'm just so excited to be riding here. And you said, I mean, the girls that you're riding against, we got, what, two-time Queen of Weight winner, Nicola Butler, Amber Wing, of course, always riding strong, Raimi Merritt. How are you gonna beat these girls? What's your game plan? Well, I just gotta go, land my pass, make sure everything's clean, land my wild card, and I think I'll be set. Six talented women are preparing to ride here in Texas. Taylor McCullough, Nicola Butler, Raimi Merritt, Amber Wing, Megan Ethel, and crowd favorite, Dallas Friday. I'm ready to redeem myself. Two years ago, I was injured here and just ready to go out and just, uh, show them what's up. Dallas starts out with a couple of strong passes, looking very comfortable on the fun box. But one trick gives her trouble, not once, but twice. The handle pass rolled a blind. Inmar team rider Taylor McCullough riding in her rookie season plus some stylish grabs but also has trouble with her wild card trick. I was happy with all my tricks. I wish I could have landed my heel five, but no worries. I made finals and I'm here today, so it's all good. Tour veterans Ramey Merritt and Amber Wing have both been working on their amplitude this season. Ramey pleases the crowd with her big air rally and 540s. Amber with this big front roll and whirly bird. I guess my riding this season has just naturally progressed to be going bigger. I'm kind of going out and wanting to throw down what I need to win and not just, you know, ride for a podium. 
The battle for first place will come down to England's Nicola Butler and Orlando's Megan Ethel. Both girls are technical riders with great rail skills. I mean, yeah, Megan's been riding good. Uh, we've both been riding strong at home and coming to Pro Tour. So far, it's been, I've had a win, she's had a win. So, you know, we're tied up right now and just battling for that third win. Megan Ethel starts her run with a very technical first pass, landing a heelside 540 and a variety of inverts. Megan is solid on the rails and excites the crowd with this big crip before setting up for her wild card trick. Make some noise for Megan Ethel the Pro Bowl! Megan's Miss Wild Card trick opens the door for Nicola Butler, who is riding today with a stress fracture in her ankle. Nicola betters Megan Ethel's run by landing two 540s and a beautiful backside board slide to back lip on the fun box. Nicholas stomps two difficult tech tricks, the Moby Dick and the Whirly Bird, and that run will top the podium here in Texas. Megan Ethel comes in second place, Amber Wing in third. It was really fun, yeah. Texas is my favorite stop, and, um, you know, conditions are always sick, crowd's big, and uh, wake is good. Don't go anywhere, because we will be back in just a couple of minutes. The high flies of the wakeboarding world will be out in force. It's time for the Sony Big Air Kicker. Some unbelievable action in store for you. Stay right here with us. The 2012 Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour is brought to you by Mastercraft Boats, held to a higher standard. Sony, make, believe and by Hyperlight Wakeboards. Join the revolution. of Lake Mosier in Texas, and I'm with Chad Sharp before the Sony Big Air Kicker Contest gets underway. Now, Chad, this is a fan's favorite, isn't it, this contest? And I think you like it too. Why is that? Yeah, it's definitely my favorite event. Um, you know, I get to ride against Dean Smith and a bunch of other, you know, great riders, and just get to cut in as hard as we can and go as big as we can and, you know, go for hard tricks, and, you know, it just it makes for a lot of fun, and the crowd definitely gets into it. Put your hands together for insane, insane sway. It's insane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Sony Big Air Kicker is in place. Our first two riders, both from Canada, give it up for the Dominator, Aaron Rathy, and the Canadian Equation and past Big Air Champion, Chad Sharp. Big EG grab way out into the flat, just barely hitting that 100 foot marker. What are we calling it? 94 feet. Texas turnout was awesome. This crowd's super loud. Um, this lake's always awesome, always nice and calm. So definitely a good crowd when they're just sitting on the rail 10 feet away from you cutting in. It's cool to hear the cheering and everyone pumped on it. So definitely makes for a lot of fun and makes you want to go bigger. All right, guys. Well, he is known for doing double flips off the cable. Let's see if he can do it off the kicker here today, tonight. One more time. Going for it, guys. Give it up for the Dominator, Aaron Ramsey up and in. Going for the low 540. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the doctor, Aaron Rathy. I went for back moves. I, I stuck going perfect. Felt like the driver was going a little bit fast, and then I tried to back move five, and it felt cool. I mean, that was my first try behind the boat, but I don't know. I think I'll get it next weekend. From Humboldt, Saskatchewan, Canada, he is the first man to ever land a 1080 here on the waters of Texas Mastercraft, the Bone Crusher, Rusty Milanowski. Grab Melon, miss the handle. Uh, I got to hit the Sony kicker, didn't land anything, but it was still a lot of fun. Texas was awesome to me, and I uh, can't wait to get back here next year. Well, uh, me and Russell had to go out there and have a crack, and I'm kind of pumped. I want to have another go at this back seven again, and then, I mean, I could be talk 
could be talking out of my rear, but if I uh, hit that, I really want to have a crack at a back 10, so we'll see how we go. Dino Smith! Make some noise as he comes into the kicker here, folks. Go backside, 540. Going well past or at least in line with the 100 foot mark right there. Dean Smith with the biggest backside vibe I've probably ever seen. So close. That didn't feel good. You alright? That's probably the worst the kicker contest has ever gone for me. I think I've finished off a pretty good day with a concussion. So we'll wrap this up. I'm gonna go ice my head and drink some water. And with an indie glide over 100 feet long, he is a past many time big air kicker champion. Give it up for Ronix and Rockstar Team Rider, the Canadian Equation, Chad Sharp. Yeah, kicker van went, went well today. Uh, took home the thousand bucks. You know, got to ride against those guys who always kill it. Rathy had a really good back bob off the kicker. Uh, Dino kind of whacked himself a little bit, but I know he'll be coming out firing next week. So, you know, it's going to be that battle back and forth, I hope, all season long. Coming up, the battle of the weekend is about to go down. It's the pro men's final. Holly Clifford is currently sitting in first place in the King of Wake series, but Phil Sovin is hot on his heels. Can Holly take a win this weekend in Texas and increase that lead? Stay with us to find out. The 2012 Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour is brought to you by Mastercraft Boats, held to a higher standard, Rockstar Energy Drink, party like a rock star, and by Billabong. Here we are at Lake Mosier. It's the second stop of the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour. Of course, we're in Fort Worth, Texas, and the Pro Men's Finals is about to go down. It's the big event of the weekend, and I'm here with Mastercraft Zane Schwenk. Now, Zane, this is your 20th year on the Mastercraft Pro Tour. You've seen a lot of riding go down in that time. Absolutely. The sport has progressed so fast, it's unbelievable. You know, there's a lot of technical tricks out there. The guys on the rails are so technical and off the wake. You know, 900s are staple tricks, Crow 5s, all these hard tricks. And these guys are taking it to a new level. Last week, I watched Harley do some stuff on the new X-Star that I never thought was possible. I mean, we've got 1080s going down. Are we going to see something that big in a finals? I don't know. These guys get really pumped up. We've got Andrew, who's done really well in finals here. Rusty got second in uh, Georgia. The crowd here really gets everybody pumped up, and it's awesome water conditions with a huge wake. We may see a double tantrum, 1080s, who knows? I hope so, Zane, and thank you so much for the inside scoop. Let's head down to the dock because it's about to get underway. The Pro Men's Final in Texas consists of six of the most explosive, technical, and fun to watch guys in the sport of wakeboarding. It is the most world-class field in the world that we've seen. Like, we have Harley, Rathy right now, who's riding the best he's ever ridden. Phil's obviously killing it, and Andrew's having his best season he's ever had. It's just a, it's a mind-blowing field. Aaron Rathy and Andrew Atkinson get this final started with a couple of stand-up runs full of 720s, 900s, and Moog 5s. Had a fall right at the end of my run, last trick on Osmosis 5. I even had it, had the handle in my hand and I got a little antsy and just fell on my heels, but got a heel 9 first trick, back 7, switched to 9, so I got a lot done, but with guys like Phil and Harley behind me, you gotta have two stand-up runs. Australia's Dean Smith puts it all on the line in his run, taking his tricks way out into the flats and slaying the rails. I knew what I had to do, and I'm, I mean, it doesn't happen. I don't think I've stood up a run since I was 17, so this has gone really well. 
The bone crusher, Rusty Malinowski, loves this lake, and it shows as he easily lands two 900s, multiple mobs, then blasts two big moves to the moon. This one's for you, the fans. In on the heels, massive roll to blind. Give it up for the bone crusher, Rusty Malinowski. Phil, the real deal, Sovin, and Harley Clifford are once again vying for the overall points lead on tour. Phil's strategy here in Texas is to rattle Harley first with a run never before seen in competition. Phil lands a toe side 900, a backside 720, the whirly dick, and a trick he's never before landed in a contest, the Moby Dick 720. I tried that Moby Dick 7 for the first time in Colorado two years ago and got knocked out. So it took me a little while to get it back down, but it's down to today. I'm stoked. Australian legend Daniel Watkins is on hand to watch young gun Harley Clifford answer Phil Sylvan's challenge. To watch Harley progress through the ranks as a uh, junior in Australia and then come over here at such a young age and really, you know, have the mindset to be able to take on his idols. He's always been able to go and throw down right when the time's right. He's an impressive kid. Phil did the Willie Dicks. I knew I, like, there was no chance I could beat him unless I did a Mope 7, so I went out there and matched him with that, did the Willie Dick. I did the Blind Pete as well, which is a trick that I don't usually do. Harley matches Phil in the tech category, then goes to work on spins, landing three 900s to outscore Sovin and take his second consecutive Pro Tour victory. Phil comes in second place. Rusty Malinowski grabs third. That was seriously like the best final ever, without a doubt. Everyone killed it, everyone stood up. Phil had the best run of his life, I had the best run of my life, so did Rusty. And I was just stoked to be a part of it and definitely come out of the win was just unreal. With the win here today, Harley Clifford continues to lead both the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour standings and the overall King of Wake points race. Join us next time as the Mastercraft Pro Wakeboard Tour heads to Branson, Missouri, and another historic weekend of action goes down.